Hello everyone, this is Hobie Stamper coming to you from White Lake, Michigan. Mike and Melissa, you guys are great. Keep doing what you're doing. Hunter, I want to say thanks for getting me hooked on that spicy chicken sandwich from Burger King. I love you for that. Stay cool. Everybody enjoy the next episode of Outdoors with the Morgan. So welcome back everyone, Mike here. It has been a crazy 24 hours around here as far as the weather goes. Uh, last night we got probably... I don't know, two inches of rain overnight, maybe even a little bit more than that. Rained again this morning, then the skies cleared up, it warmed up to about 71 degrees, and then I guess a cold front's coming through. Uh, we just had another storm pass through, and tomorrow morning I think it's supposed to be a high of like 20 degrees or 24 degrees, something like that. But I'm heading down here to the uh, Renewable Energy Processing Center. I need to grab a basket of firewood for my one neighbor, uh, he's taking it to camp, so they'll have some firewood there, and uh, I'm just going to load it right in the back of this pickup truck, should work out really well, the only problem is, it's a lot wetter down there than I like, I'm going to run it all off getting it, but I can fix it, we'll be cutting grass soon anyway. Well, it's still raining right now, but the skies are starting to clear a little bit. Uh, I'll give it about a half hour or so. Things get a little bit better. We'll probably do a little bit of work on the woodshed here this evening.
is so wet, the mud doesn't even stick to your boots. That's pretty wet. He was born by the roadside in a broken down carriage. Came into life on the run. Found on the doorstep of a nearby orphanage. No one saw. No one saw. You'll never know him. He is the forgotten. His name. I'm just using some uh, two by fours for corner bracing. I just want to try that out. I'll bring my uh, miter saw down tomorrow. It'll be a little easier to uh, cut them. So Melissa will be down in just a bit to help me put up the uh, last two beams. And then maybe I'll put some more corner bracing on, maybe a little siding. We'll see how it goes. It's going to get dark here soon. And uh, I'm telling you, the temperature is starting to drop. Like I said, earlier today it was 71 degrees. I don't know what it is now. Overnight, I think it's going to be 24 degrees. So uh, tomorrow's supposed to be sunny, though. Same with Sunday. I'd like to get a lot done on this this weekend. I saw these on the uh, wood miser last night. If you didn't see that video, I'll put it up above. I know it's a little overkill, but uh, you know the wood's readily available. I think it'll look nice and it'll be plenty strong. They're three and a half inches by nine and a half. I don't know how heavy they are. Probably weighs 100 pounds each, maybe. Maybe a little more. Just in time. Hi. Check out the uh, new hat Melissa's wearing. Oh, actually, I'm wearing one too. <laughs> Aren't I? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it looks uh, good with your uh, I like thought so too. whole thing you got going on there tonight. Yeah. It's warmer, but it's not warm enough to go without a jacket. So. No, but it's probably dropped 20 degrees in the last uh, hour. It has. Yeah, definitely in the last two hours this dropped 20 degrees. I was degrees. telling them earlier, there's so much uh, rain today, the mud doesn't even really stick to your I boots. Took, I took a bunch of pictures when I took the dogs for a walk. It rained all day, and when it quit, I took the dogs for a walk on the road because the trails are too muddy, and I added pictures of like how the streams are all swollen and yeah. some pictures. I'm of liking the hat. Story. I do too. Yeah, I, we mentioned we'll have them on the website uh, hopefully this coming week sometime, but yeah, they're nice. Yeah, it's a funny story walking them. I walked them out two miles to a spot where we call Devil's Elbow. It's a real sharp, sharp bend. We stopped. There's a pasture there and a barn. And um, she seriously started crying. Piper did? Yeah. And actually, a guy was walking from the house across the road to his barn. And he's like, hi. I'm like, oh, hi. And I think he thought something was wrong. And I'm like, let's go. Oh, and we headed back home. Jeez. Wow. This has been a whole new adjustment for Piper in these hikes. 
Yeah. But then we cut up through um, a trail on the way home just to take a quick shortcut. Well, let's uh, lift this one beam up. Yeah. I got one more to cut. Look at this little corner brace I put in here. Oh, yeah. That'll be nice to bump your head on. No, you're not that tall. Well, well. This would be great for my bathroom shelf. Pretty good, so don't drop on you. I think so. Do you need help? No, I don't need help. Now come to me. Lift up on your animal. Good. Beautiful thing. Whew. That looks nice. Oh man, this mud. All right, we'll bring the other one over and cut it. Okay, so the other night, Mike smuggled, we've been known to smuggle a, a little bottle of soda in the house to have with our dinner or something. And if he, he's allowed some, he's just not allowed to have it all the time. And trust me, he wants it all the time. So he's caught Mike a time or two of smuggling it in his shirt pocket or his, uh, like if you have a sweatshirt on, that pocket in the middle. Pocket. Huh? In my hoodie pocket. Oh yeah, in his hoodie pocket. And uh, so the other night he walked <laughs> up to Mike and I both and patted right at our bellies to see if that was really our belly or a bottle pop. <laughs> I'm gonna put uh, just a couple screws in there to hold them so we don't knock that one down on us while we're putting the other one up. Well, yeah. You mean the other one doesn't have them? Oh, just extra. This can come in just a little. Ready? Okay, Matt. I'll move it. We'll hoist that up. That's good. Though. That that's nice. That's if I didn't have to like work, this is all I do all day long, every day. Is like build really? stuff. Really? Yep. I would. I want you to fill those shelves in the bathroom. We'll do that sometime. Well, you're gonna have to give these dogs a bath. I know. Pipe. Come here, Ruth. I know. This is good that they're having fun. They will get a bath. I'm good for a little bit. I think I might just put some more corner bracing on, maybe even a siding board or two, because I know you're going to be busy for a little bit giving the dogs a bath. Oh, right. Because <laughs> we're doing pizza tonight for dinner. I yeah. believe we should support the... Yeah, they have takeout. Maybe we'll do that. The businesses that we usually order from. <laughs> yeah. No change in our schedule. Uh -uh. Friday night. Is Ty coming tonight? Yeah. 
Yeah, Hannah's at their house now, so she'll bring them home. Right. But keep in mind, I want to just give you this to think about. Never let your fear decide your fate. So hang in there, be strong. It'll be good. All right, well, it's coming along, which is good, but it's also getting dark. Now, tomorrow I'll come down, I'll probably put some more siding up. And the only reason I'm doing that before more rafters is because all my siding is piled up on top of the two by sixes that I'm using for rafters. Hopefully this weekend I'll get a bunch done on this. It's kind of hard when you only have like an hour, an hour and a half each day. By the time you get down here, get your tools out, it gets dark, but we're coming along. We are, and it's, uh, it's coming out really nice. I'm pleased with it so far. Really happy with the red pine that I've been using. I think it'll work out just fine. Uh, but I think that's about it. So like I always say, if you enjoy these videos, please hit the like button, click subscribe, and share them with your friends. Thanks. Hi, this is Megan Jerry Thompson from Glacier National Park, Montana. If you're just watching our episode of Outdoors with the Morgans, please hit like, subscribe, and share them with your friends. Have a day.